This is a demonstration of the Morgan G100T injection molding press. Its unique design was especially developed to make injection molding plastic parts practical and economical in the quantities required for rapid prototyping and low volume production. <clears throat> a single shot 20 ton maximum clamp force, 12,000 piece a PSI max injection pressure. The temperature is variable between 0 and 430 degrees. See? The mold plane area is 8 inches by 11 inches and the system has been upgraded to a solid state electronic temperature control system for accuracy and ease of operation. Before we add resin, uh, let me show you a couple of features. First, you can raise and lower the table itself with a crank on the side here. That can be raised and lowered. That comes with the piece of equipment. Uh, this Allen wrench here uh, raises and lowers the platen. So before it toggles up and down, you can adjust this for its height as well. Now, again, before we put plastic in there, let me show you this upgrade that was done here. It's very good. Uh, safety precaution. Um, first, let me remove this temperature probe. Now, you can't just push one. You have to push them both. So you have to use for both hands when you raise this because it goes up very, very quick and with a lot of pressure. To release it, push the button. Now, to demonstrate the operation of the extruder, <coughs> uh, this plate and this mold are from one of our other systems that we're using here for the demonstration. It is not included. Uh, but it is a purge mold. <coughs> and what it does is it allows you to put in a very clean material, uh, preferably the ones that are recommended by the manufacturer of the equipment. And what that will do is it will clean out the barrel completely and it'll also give you an example of its molding capability. Straight the injection molding capabilities of the press uh, solely for the demonstration. <clears throat> We're going to uh, follow the uh, procedure for how to purge the system. Normally that would be to clean out any residue uh, polymers that you might have before you want to put some new virgin material in there. So. First, the temperatures, they suggest you use polypropylene. Uh, we believe we have some virgin polypropylene here. And the temperatures should be adjusted to, uh, according to the chart, uh, 425, 450, and 120. We have uh, 425 pretty much, 450, and we are uh, independently here monitoring our mold at about 127. So we'll take our probe out. Okay. Now, what I thought I could do to make this easier the first step is to put the poly probe in the barrel. Got a little makeshift chute here. So if you step up here and hold this up. Excellent. Now, I have my little chute, and what I'll do is uh, you have to fill the barrel to the top.
Yes. And then it's suggested that you remove any extra. Make sure the barrel is full completely. This is safety interlocked. but you still should be careful because it is warm in there as well. Okay, uh, the rest of this will stay out of the way for now. You can manually operate the equipment so that you can close the press and you can manually uh, hold the shot as long as you want or you can do it in automatic. Um, just solely for purposes of our demonstration, I've set the shot here to uh, 10 seconds and the shot delay, which is the time that I believe that's going to be in the mold and cure, to uh, 90 seconds. So in auto mode, we simply start and push our press up. You always have to use both hands when you do that. And then we'll hit start. And if you take a look in here, you should be able to see the ram going up and down when I get started. And it holds it there. Release and return. During this period of time, we will count down to ninety. Actually, during this time, it, it's still curing in the mold, but you can lower it. Again, this is all for purposes of our demonstration. Again, strictly for purposes of our demonstration, this would probably not be a normal procedure, but we just want to be able to show you that it is um, extruding. Uh, again, this is a purge mold. This is not meant to be totally formed to make a product. However, um, previously, I had completely filled the cavity for couple other little pieces that I had here. Now that we're cooled down, there. This is just the piece that we extruded. Uh, this will cure shortly and become uh, more elastic. And that completes this demonstration.